Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. Now this week I'm just doing a free form reading. What do you need to hear right now? That's going to be the title or something like that. I was supposed to record the water element, but I think I'll be doing that next week now. I have been a bit busy lately. I also had quite an intense migraine that knocked me out yesterday. I just want to thank my clients whom I've had to shuffle to next week. If either of you are watching, thank you so much for being so cool about that because yeah, I have just not been well. And, um, but I'm recovering quickly, which is great. And you know, I have the energy to do this today, which is cool. So guys, it's just really simple, nothing to it today. Pick between group one, group two or group three and see how we go. Also, I hope you like the new arrangement. I thought we would do this on a different table today. And I like to mix these things up and change every now and then. So who knows, we might be back on the redwood table one of these days, but um, here we are for now on this white marble, which is equally as nice. All right, so I'll see you in your reading. Hi there, group one. If you chose group one, then you are in the right place. Let me just, well, let me grab your cards and take a look at what we have. All right, so, oh, actually, before I begin this reading, I should have done this in, th in the introduction. I'll do it right now. I would just like to thank the Wallamad Eagle people of this land. Uh, thank you for giving me your card deck and thank you for giving me your land on which to do my work and to do this work. So I'm using the saltwater deck here, so that's why I must always remember to honour the Aboriginal people of this land. Okay, so let's take a look. Isn't this beautiful? Your first card is fish learning. Aren't those colours wonderful? And if we look at the colours, we've got green got blue right so we're kind of looking at heart chakra blue is a throat chakra so that's going to be important as part of this reading we have Parvati how beautiful Om Namah Parvati it's a lovely wonderful card to receive so you've got a goddess with you, okay. Resilience, number 21. Let's take a look at your tarot. What do we have here for tarot? Oh yes. So we have the 10, whoops, 10 of cups in reverse. You do have quite a lot reversed. Don't worry, we're gonna talk about all that. We're gonna see what all that means. So you've got the moon reversed. See that shimmer and shine. And you've got the hermit card reversed as well. As with any reading of mine, take what resonates and discard what doesn't resonate. I also like to go through the cards slowly at first because it gives you a chance to take in the symbolism and to see what your intuition is saying to you. Okay, so what do we have here with this spread? Well, there, there is quite a lot and you're going through quite a lot, I do believe, especially when it comes to your home life. I think things at home aren't 100% for you right now. The other thing is I think that you're working very, very hard, but equally it feels like you have to keep working hard, okay? Uh, and it feels like you really have to stay focused. And I imagine that you're learning a huge amount right now. This learning card, sometimes it comes up, it represents that you're meant to teach something. I do think in this case, you're, you are meant to learn. You are in a cycle of learning. Okay, sometimes it can really indicate that you're meant to share and give and you're meant to speak, right? All this blue here, the throat chakra. But I'm really getting the sense that you actually have a lot of learning to do. What kind of learning is this? It is no less than, we've got a number 10 here. 
leadership, right? You are, it's, it's an, the next phase of mastery, the next phase of leadership. You're kind of, you're going up and you're being required to learn quite a lot. And I don't think, I don't want to say rapidly because this is a slower energy here. I do get the sense that you're in a big learning phase. You are learning a lot and you're learning how to lead. That is what I'm getting strongly from this card. You are learning how to lead. Now, the other thing that's coming across very strongly is this thing of focus. You need to have this incredible laser-like focus. That's definitely coming from these two cards. From this one in particular, right? This card is very much about focus. And one of the things when I was reading the guidebook on this one, it says, I have a laser-like focus that serves me well. That's your mantra. You need to maintain a laser-like focus, right? You're working incredibly hard. The burden is a bit heavy. You're more than halfway there, okay? Three, your creativity will help you, okay? Any creativity that you have in this work that you're doing or in this situation that you're in, creativity might help make things easier, but it's a laser-like focus that you need and you need to keep going. There's a massive message here from your angels and guides that are saying, well done, you're doing great, but you have to keep going. You're not there yet, there's more to do, right? So there's some situation, but they are applauding you. They're saying that you're doing extremely, extremely well. Now Parvati, how come she's come up? This is great that she's here. Because what she did is what you're being asked to do now, and that is to become the highest version of yourself. She basically wanted to attract the attention of Lord Shiva, who was in the mountains, he was meditating, you know, he, and she knew he needed some feminine energy, but she wanted, she wanted to strategize. She wanted to figure out, okay, how am I going to get his attention, right? So she, because she's in love with him, she wants him. And what happened was she decided that she's going to become a yogi too. And she is going to, okay, he's meditating, he's working hard, he's doing his thing, I'm going to do that too. She became the best version of herself. She chose, I'm going to be the highest and best version of myself. So I think she went to a river and she stood there for like years or something on one leg. And anyway, her, her hard work and her persistence, right, and her focus, her laser-like focus, her hard work, and that's represented here, right? That, all of that attracted the attention of Lord Shiva. He fell in love with her and, you know, the rest is history, right? So, so Parvati is here to say to you, become that highest version of yourself. And this actually is the key. This actually is the solution to all of this. Now we're going to talk about this because this is not great <laughs> at the moment, but I'm telling you, you are going to make it through, okay? So we've got Ten of Cups reversed, we've got Moon reversed, and we've got the Hermit reversed. So what do we have going on here? Get those in focus. So really with the Ten of Cups re reversed, things aren't 100% happy at home, okay? Uh, moon reversed, you know, we're kind of looking at some confusion, right? Hermit reversed. We're looking at isolation and loneliness, but it's kind of like, I feel like because it's reversed in the reverse position, it's, it's maybe you're uh, getting a little bit fed up of this situation, right? Which is perfectly understandable. Okay, perfectly, perfectly understandable. The way to get through this, okay, because what we ultimately want to do is we eventually want to lose this, right? So I'm just going to park that there. Let's pretend that we've thrown that away. Ultimately, what you want is this, okay? And you can have this, you can have the happy home, and you can have an intuition that's working for you if you, if you keep working hard. I actually think work is kind of the answer for this group. I actually think that, you know, they're currently in reverse. 
Sometimes, yeah, if home life isn't going great, we're confused, sometimes what we need to do, and look at what she did, look at what, you know, Parvati did. She basically, she, she strategized and she worked, right? And that's the message for you. You need to, if something's not working in your life right now, know that it's on the table. Know that getting this upright, know that this getting this happy again and getting this good again, you can do it, right? But in order to do it, you're going to have to become the highest version of yourself. You're going to have to learn everything you can about, well, I mean, that's the thing. If you're in a... You would know, you would know everything. I think the learning is actually to do here. The learning is, is not connected in with this. The learning is connected in here. The learning is connected in with you being the highest version of yourself. You having a laser-like focus. You just focusing in on what it is that's important to you, what you really want, what you are doing, right? This person can't afford Look, this person absolutely cannot afford to be looking in any other direction because it looks like they're going on this path and like if they look sideways, they're going to drop their massive bundle up there, right? And it's not going to be a good thing. This person absolutely has to have laser-like focus. That's right. That was the other thing that came up as I was analyzing these cards earlier was that you, you, you need laser-like focus right now. You can't really afford any distractions. Okay, um, and sometimes we do need a little bit of distraction. I'm not saying, you know, you can't escape and watch a video like this, <laughs> for example. But like, what, what I mean to say is that procrastinate effectively and in little doses. So they say that um, procrastination is important because productivity comes from a rested mind. Okay, so you don't want to overburden yourself, you don't want to overwork, you don't want to be going too hard, too strong, okay? This, this can be pretty hardcore, full-on uh, stuff going on here with these two, but I promise you, there's something in your life right now, you need a bit of grind, you need to work, you need to focus, you need to put your head down, you need to, you know, become that highest version of yourself. And seriously, when you do that, you've got all the happiness that you seek and possibly your intuition is going to improve as well. And this hermit situation, I mean, if you're an introvert and you need a bit of hermit now and then, I know I sure do, you'll be able to dip into that as you need to, okay? It won't be reversed. It won't be, oh, I'm getting a bit fed up of this now. It'll be in a healthy place. It'll be in a better place, right? So, it might seem like you're in a little bit of a tough time right now or feels like there's a bit of a long stretch or, you know, when is this going to transform? When is this going to change? But I promise you, it will change for sure. And also the other tip or bit of guidance is yoga. Do your yoga. Do some yoga daily, right? Some physical uh, you know, that's an important bit of advice when this card comes up as well. So group number one, I hope this has been a good reading for you. Please let me know in the comments below how you got on and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there group two. If you picked group two, then you're in the right place. Let's take a look at your cards. Okay, uh, by the way, before I begin this reading, I would like to thank the Wallamadeagle people of this land because I'm using the saltwater cards. These are Australian Aboriginal cards and I therefore want to pay my respect to the Wallamadeagle people of this land who I, you know, am blessed to be on this land and, uh, you know, I just want to thank the Aboriginal ancestors for the use of these cards. So let's get into this spread. So we've got tides, cycles. Isn't that beautiful? Number seven. One of my friends, she said that her, she notices that her life goes in cycles of seven years. Every seven years there's a shift or a change. So that's the first card there. Now as with any of my readings, 
I always say this, please do take what resonates and discard the rest. There'll be some message in here that is for you. And if not, you know, you might be halfway through the reading, you don't feel it's for you. You can always switch around. Uh, prana. Okay. It's a beautiful card there. They're all beautiful. I love looking at the artwork on all these. Protection. Look at that. Really lovely card. Really soft, sweet energy there. Okay, and your tarot, we have got the King of Wands in reverse. We have the Queen of Wands in reverse. And we have Temperance upright. Okay, so what do we have here? Now, if we take a look at the Tides card, this is saying that all is in flux around you. Okay, Around you at the moment, everything is a bit crazy, a bit up and down, a bit... I would imagine that you're this kind of still presence, really, uh, amongst the madness. And that's definitely kind of being symbolized by these two, I do believe, going together. But everything around you is in flux, is in chaos. It's all a bit crazy, <laughs> okay? Um, but that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. When I tuned in to these two, I was trying to figure out, is this you or is this somebody else? And I actually think it's somebody else. King of Wands in reverse, Queen of Wands in reverse. I actually get the sense that this, this is the masculine and feminine side of one person that is around you, that is possibly overbearing. Uh, what else is with this person? They might be aggressive, they might be dominating, they might be a bit of a dominating character or personality, and they're kind of in your space and they're in your face, possibly. Um, and what the cards are really saying is that you will be fine around this person. It's not like, you know, they're a bad person or you're meant to not know them or any of that. Oh, okay, a massive bus just decides to go past. I hope that doesn't come up on the recording. That is kind of interesting though, because see, in Jyotish, we are meant to pick up stuff like that. Like if a crow crows or if a... And in one of my readings, there was an ice cream bell that rang and that was very significant for one of you so now we've got a bus going at full speed on a tiny road okay so i don't know if that message is needed for anyone but I, and that's while i'm talking about this one person who i mean maybe are they trying to throw you under the bus or what? <laughs> like that phrase comes from me watching the apprentice in england okay so that's where i got that phrase from because all those kids are like trying to throw each other under the bus but like basically what i've got here is i've got a person and this is this is the male and female side of one person and i think they're overbearing i think yeah there might be a bit of a bus on a small road or something i don't know but you're having to deal with this what the guides are saying to you and I think that they are honoring you. I think they're saying, well done, that you are doing well with this situation. What you need to be doing, and basically all you need to be doing, is checking in with your energy, checking in with your life force energy, your prana, your chi, you know, make sure that you're not being depleted, okay? Make sure that this person isn't being an energy drain on you or they aren't being a bit of a, an energy vampire, okay? This might be, and this is, look, protection i mean come on it's just it's here in the cards <laughs> so we've got the protection card and what this is saying it's saying that you need to protect yourself uh, against this person or people like this or these kind of energies you need protection by the way I have, we have not had a buff go down that road like all week so there's some message there but um but yeah you need to work with your energy, you need to ground, okay? Very important, grounding. Spend time in the garden, mm, nurture yourself. 
you know, and if you don't have a garden, I, I relate to that. I, you know, lived in England in a tiny apartment for a very long time, and um, I'll go to my local park. Did it every day. So you've got to do that, right? Find a local park, just a little bit of grass, whatever you can find. Protection. This card is really asking you to protect. And the, the beautiful thing about this, we've got a six here, and that is love. And this in particular is self-love. Okay, you just need self-love. Sometimes you just need a duvet day, right? That is something that uh, a company I worked for, the CEO, he implemented this thing called duvet days. And he said that you know, if ever you just feel like the world is rubbish and you wanna stay at home and you wanna be under your duvet, he said you can do it. And he's done it, he's implemented it in every company he's ever worked for. And he says that no one's ever taken it. So isn't that interesting? It's like when it's offered, you know, no one feels the need to take it. Everybody feels cared for, right? Isn't that interesting? That is very interesting. So maybe if you allow yourself the duvet day, maybe if you allow yourself the rest, you'll actually find that a small amount of rest will be enough. You know, maybe you won't need the whole day or whatever it is. I had one of these days yesterday, I had a massive migraine. I just stayed in bed. That was all I could do, you know. Um, I just had to do that. And I mean, temperance, you know, that is definitely this energy right here that sometimes we need healing. Sometimes we need time away. Sometimes we need patience. Sometimes we need to sit still with something and look for the meaning and find the meaning right in in what we're going through or so this kind of activity is really good the other thing that i got from your group when i was studying your cards briefly earlier was that you'll find your own answers okay so you might be wondering okay yeah so how do i deal with this person or how do i deal with this difficult situation or how do i uh, work through this what do I do or you're looking for a sign or something like that the answers are going to come the exact hows that you need and that was a strong bit of guidance that came through it's all within you you've got everything within you to resolve this situation which quite frankly I don't think it's too bad uh, from what I'm seeing here it's not looking too bad at all okay uh, and it feels like this is just kind of part of the flux, part of the chaos, part of the madness of what's going on around, you know, all of us in life today. Things are a bit hectic and crazy, but for some reason around you that it's, yeah, there are things in flux and there's somebody not, you know, uh, not, um, not being the kind good person that they could be so yeah it's pretty much a case of protect yourself self-love look after your chi guard your chi your energy your prana make sure there are no energy leakages or that you know and if you have to do some cord cutting or something along those lines uh that you know you can call in archangel michael you can check on youtube you can find some good information about that and there are really wonderful energy healers that you can also work with if you need that kind of thing as well but I, honestly I feel like I don't, I don't feel like you need too much external anybody okay um, that might be for a couple of cases but I really feel like you've got everything within you to heal and resolve everything that's whatever's not right in your world right now be still tune in ask for divine guidance and all your answers are within you that is the case for everybody across the board all over the world especially for you okay especially because you're a person who tunes into readings like this and you know you you absolutely have all the answers within you so i do hope that this has been a good reading there is something sacred here there's something kind of asking you to go within go within see what comes okay so i hope this has been a good reading for you group number two let me know in the comments below how you got on and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group three. If you chose group number three, then you are in the right place. Whoops, I'm just gonna grab your pile of cards. By the way, before I begin, I would like to thank the Wallamadeagle people of this land. I've been doing that 
at the start of each reading because I'm using the saltwater deck and I'm also sitting on Aboriginal land that was originally owned by the Wollamadeagle people. And because I'm using an Aboriginal deck, I want to honour the, you know, the traditional uh, owners of this land. Okay, so let's take a look at your first card, which is the Dugong appearances. Also, as with any reading of mine or any reading that you do with me, please use your intuition as we go and take what resonates and discard what doesn't. So that's a lovely card to start with. A very mysterious card. Appearances, right? Interesting. Okay, we've got Satya. This is a gorgeous card. Look at that. I love this card. I never saw it before today. It's my new favourite card. <laughs> Stunning. We have the Queen of the Moon. We have the best card in the deck, so well done. <laughs> This is a great card to get. Whether you're a man or a woman, right? We're dealing with royalty, okay? We're dealing with your inner royalty, which is making its appearance on the table. So that's really, really good. We have this beautiful card here, which is the Six of Cups Upright. We have the Seven of Swords in reverse. And lucky you, we have the Ace of Pentacles upright. Doesn't get much better than this. Okay, this is an amazing spread. Really good choice, Group 3. The energies here are incredible. There's some really nice stuff happening here, these three. This, okay, we're going to have to go through it because this could be a few things. How am I going to do this? I don't know, should we start with the good stuff or the not so good stuff? <laughs> Maybe let's go for, let's go for the not so good, right? This could potentially be interpreted as a not so good card. This could potentially be, um, because it's appearances, and it is, we are kind of looking at masks and that kind of thing here, but I actually don't see this card that way at all. I see this card as, that what you see, you only see half the story, okay? So when someone talks about a mask or that a person is wearing a mask, say for example, you're the kind of person who has the ability to see the whole picture. You don't just see that, right? You see everything. You see, oh, okay. Like you see the whole thing. That is what you are developing rapidly. Okay, you and your intuition and your ability to see, you are not afraid and you're very happy to look at truth and you want to look at the truth and you can. You're quite very much on your way to achieving some level of mastery. And when I use the word mastery, okay, you achieve some level of mastery, but then a whole new level opens up. So we're always students. Till the end right we're always learning and but you're very much on the path of learning truth satya truth you're learning truth you're learning authenticity you're learning how to be your authentic self you are ready to embrace your inner royalty you're ready to step into that queen position you are ready to step into that king position you are there now you're actively doing it your intuition is getting better. Your intuition is getting strong, okay? And you are achieving this ability to see the whole picture, okay? You're seeing it all. You're not, some people are just seeing this and some people are just seeing this, okay? You're seeing the whole thing. That is what you're doing. You're doing it. And it's amazing, right? And I think what... These are representing down here. This is representing, this is part of this set here. This is, this is part of these three. 
new levels of mastery are opening up, new opportunities are going to open up, new wonderful things are coming for you. You are going to have a fulfilling love life, you're going to have a fulfilling material life for sure. And I feel like the new possibilities and new opportunities that are coming for you, I think they're material in nature, I think they're job related, business related, that kind of thing. This is growing, okay? Your life, your business, who you are in the work sense, if it's not growing now, it certainly will be, okay? It's very much, you're very much manifested and it's here. What's happening here, in some ways, is actually quite sweet. It's quite lovely and we can interpret this in a couple of ways. So we can interpret this, we can, it, some, a lot of people say this is a twin flame card. And so what, the classical notion of this card is nostalgia. Is looking back into the past and going, oh, those were beautiful days, right? Memories of a beautiful past or the happy times of our life. That's one way of interpreting this card. Some people see this as a twin flame card, right? That it, this is you and your twin. So this could be a twin flame reading, actually. Uh, but I'm, I'm gonna, we're gonna look at lots of different options because there are single people here too, and you know, I'm, I want to read for both. So. It could be a twin flame card. It could be an old lover coming back. Okay, that's another representation of this. And as I say, it could just be memories of, of better times. This coming in here, now we've got an interesting thing with these two together. This could be somebody from the past coming back who wants to be as honest with you as you are with them, okay? That is one interpretation. This could also be that you are reconciling your past love life and you are feeling great about everything that's gone on in your past. You forgive yourself, you forgive the others, it's all feeling good. And this card has come along to show you that you yourself, you don't wanna play games with anybody anymore going forward, right? You've made peace with the past and you see so much now that you see that there's, there's no need to play any games, right? That it's in fact small to do that, <laughs> but like, that's okay, you know, it's fun as well, right? Game playing is fun too. What's the difference between, you know, game playing and flirting? Is there a great big distinction, right? So, you know, and maybe there is, maybe there isn't. And maybe you're seeing that, you know? Maybe there's something very much relaxing within you You're fine, you're doing great, is what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing that, I think there's, there's just within your love life and within yourself, there's gonna be like a, you're just, you're just gonna make so much peace with everything that's gone on in your love life, basically. That's what I'm seeing here. And that you've ended a phase or you are ending a phase that there isn't gonna be any more deception, any more um, game playing, any more unnecessary thing. It may well be that somebody comes back to want to be as truthful as you are, okay? It might be that, but that, I don't know about that. Uh, I, I'm not getting a strong sense on that. Uh, what I'm getting a sense of, a very strong sense of, is how good your energy is how good your relationship with the truth is. And look, if this is a twin flame and you are hoping for somebody to come back, I'll tell you something else I observed with this card, which I only just saw today. This is such a beautiful, her hand, right? Her open hand. One of my friends who's a Sagittarius, she told me that with, with a Sagittarius, she said, and I, I don't have too much Sagittarian energy myself, but she said that what, what you wanna do with them if, if you're dating one or whatever. She said, you always wanna have an open hand. She said, and when the bird lands, never close it. Never, never, never close it. Always leave it open, right? And you look at her, she's, there's a bird about to land in her hand, right? And do you think she's gonna close her hand? I don't think so. I think she is this. I think she knows this 
this being knows how to let the bird sit here. She's never going to close her hand. She's going to let the bird sit or fly, right? And maybe that's some important information for your love life there. Maybe you need to be that way for somebody in your life. Maybe somebody's coming back in. Okay, sure, that could be, right? I mean, with these two here, that, that is kind of, yeah. But like, if they do or they don't, this, these three is saying wonderful things about you. This, this is saying and showing to me that you're ready to love, you're ready to take someone in, to, to care for somebody's heart. You know what the truth is. You see the whole picture. You see the whole damn thing, but you don't want to hurt anybody, right? You see the whole thing just to see the whole thing, not as some kind of power or control or, you know, no, not that. You see truth, right? You see truth, you feel truth, you know truth. You do not want to hurt anybody. That is for sure. I can see that. You're, you know, your ability to, should I say, your relationship with truth is becoming very strong. And, and it will be rewarded, 100%. You're going to be rewarded for all this spiritual soul work that you're doing that's brought you here. You will be rewarded. Okay, group three. So I hope this has been a good reading for you. Honestly, beautiful energies here. Uh, I really, really like this group. So let me know how you get on below with this reading. I'd love to hear from you and... Yeah, I look forward to seeing you next time.